Hey guys, I want to introduce to you a NinjaTrader trade tracking journal, Spreadsheet. With the help of this spreadsheet you can track all of your backtesting and playback trades in one place. Also be able to track your own trading results for up to 22 accounts. I am using it myself to view all of my playback results side by side. And another workbook to track my own and trading bot results. Found it very useful to store playback data. As on every next run, the old playback data disappears. It is currently being set up for futures trading, but it is possible to modify it for everything else too. Check a link in the description to get it now or stay tuned, and I'll show you more about it. Let's go through every tab and its meaning and possibilities. First we got the buttons tab, this way you import your CSV file and add it to the database. Also there is buttons to delete all of data, refresh the spreadsheet and change the font for all of the workbook and main dashboard. Next we got the main dashboard tab where you can visualize your trades. See the all time statistics at the top of page and everything below is interactive by date range. Just select the required year, month or day and dashboard will filter your trades. It is also possible to filter trades by win or loss, long or short futures, by day of the week, by strategy. Also by hour, by symbol and account if you choose to track your own trades. With these filters you can track one separate account or all accounts together. Let's say for example you want to view only the March performance. Then we just select the March and now we got only the March results on screen. Let's scroll lower and see each strategy performance side by side. Let's take the best performing strategy and make it even better. So I will filter out strategy ATM22 and see maybe there is some times when it is losing nearly every trade it takes. As we can see the worst performing hours are 12 AM, 2 and 3 AM, also 5 PM. 11 p.m. don't look good enough too. As per default we can see this strategy have made $13,187 in March on profit factor of 1.75 and win percentage 64%. Let's check how it looks like if we remove the hours with low performance. I will hold a control key and click on hours to deselect them. Gain $16,262, win percentage 70% and profit factor of 2. 30. That's a huge improvement. After we are finished to use the filter, don't forget to reset it with the small x at the top right corner. You can also select any of the days traded and view the performance for each separate day. See your max drawdown and run up in ticks, maybe you need to adjust some strategy settings. Also at the bottom of sheet you can view all of the trades from the selected date range. Be aware that this data will only change if you filter out some dates. Next we got the data tab. This is where all of the data comes in after pressing the compile button. You can show and hide formulas columns by pressing the show, hide button. You also can mark your own strategies in the strategy column. Also add mistakes in mistakes column. I will show you where to edit the mistakes and strategies in a moment. To add your own columns with formulas or tags, you will need to unhide all columns after column L. To unhide, select the whole L column and pull mouse pointer to the right side over the edge of column. Right click on it and unhide. Now you just can add the new column a heading and it will be added to the table. To hide everything again, select the whole first column without data, hold the control, Shift and press the right arrow on a keyboard. Then right click on selection and hide. Next we got a mistake tracker. Here you can view all of your added mistakes for the chosen month. Can be very useful for your own trading. Or marking the algo mistakes. Did it enter too high or low? Did it close trade too early? Was the stops too tight and so on? Then you know what needs to be improved. Also added one perfect trade tracker to track your perfect trades. You should be striving to add more of these. Next we got the strategy sheet. 
This is where you can see all of your strategies performance side by side on a monthly basis. Just select a month and a year and you are good to go. I find it very useful to use it with playback and backtesting data. Next we got the dashboard 2 sheet. This is a second dashboard without any charts, just the numbers. Here you can add your account balance, edit the daily risk percentage. Which when drawn below will show in red at the data sheet. Here also you can add futures symbols and it corresponding tick values. Also add a profit goal for your prop firm's evaluation account. There are a possibility to also add stock and option trades. If you provide me with a sample CSV file, I can set it up for you. When you scroll lower, you can see a loads of statistics available to review performance. To edit strategies, you can just edit any of the names. But be aware to edit mistakes you need to go to mistakes tab and edit them there. Here you also can view each of your account performance. In this workbook I am only tracking my playback data. But I will open my other workbook, what I am using to track my trading accounts. Here you can mark your account as blown, live and past. See the progress, what is connected to the profit goal value on top of the page. Also see how many days were traded on each of the accounts. Also on the right side of sheet there is date range statistics. If you want to view your stats in date range. Next we got the yearly PNL calendar. Haven't seen this anywhere else. It is an amazing opportunity to view all of your profit and loss data in a yearly calendar. Also to be able to filter by each account separate or all accounts together. Simply just press the required button and it is set up. The last two sheets are the brain of the workbook. This is where your CSV file gets imported and data is split into pivot tables for main dashboard to function properly. I hope I covered everything. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my channel to see the updates I am releasing. If you like this video, don't forget to add a thumbs up. Let me know if you got any questions. And check out the links in description. Thanks for watching. See you on next videos.